So this is a lesson about watersheds, and I have my friends here. Can I say your name? Ellie. Loud, you have to talk loud. Ellie. And? Elsie. <laughs> Elsie here to help us do this lesson. All right, so guys, the first thing I have is a question for you, and that is, what is a watershed? Do you have any idea? What's a shed? Like, like a shed. Oh, cicadas shed, right? They let their skin come off. Also, dogs shed sometimes. And sometimes a shed could be a building where we store stuff, too. So there's a few different things that a shed can be. And a watershed has a little bit to do with all of them. So I'm going to teach a special definition. I may need you to repeat after me both what I say and my hand motions. Can you do that? Okay. A watershed is? A watershed is? A land area. A land area. That drains to a low point. That drains to a low point. Alright, let's do it together one more time. One, two, three. <laughs> a watershed is a land area that drains to a low point. Okay, so now that we know that, um, where do you think the edges of a watershed are? Think about that definition. Where did we start with our hands? Up high. Up high, right? So if a watershed is a land area, where are the land areas that are up high? Yeah, so the tops of the mountains are the watershed edges. All right, so we're going to make a watershed today, and the first step in that is we're going to take one piece of paper and we're going to crumple it. If it's a scrap piece of paper, you want to crumple it with a white piece of paper outside. Okay, so once you've crumpled it up, you're going to stretch it out and find all the corners. And it probably shouldn't be totally flat because you're going to then tape it to your other piece of paper. Tape down the four corners. Just tape. Perfect. All right, so now that we have our watershed, let's find the tops of our mountains. Can we find any mountain tops? take our green marker and we're going to trace the tops of our mountains like this. Yep, uh-huh, yeah, like any place where you think it's kind of a top, even if it's not the tippy top, if it's a pole, it's like, like a mountain pole. Okay, now we're going to find the blue blue marker and we're going to go into the valleys so into the places where it folds the other way like a taco all right so once we've gotten our valleys and our mountains we're going to start to add some other things so let's start with brown think about your watershed and where it might be a good place to have a farm. And if you take your brown, you can draw some little farm field stripes, like, you know, like um, furrows and things. Where you think things would grow well. Hmm. So it's a little hard to think about it's that. Kind of hard to get right And after farms, you're going to find a purple and you're going to draw city streets. So um, if you think about our city streets, they are kind of like a grid. So you can draw like a, like this kind of symbol. Like yep, like that. Okay. Okay. Like a little, like hashtags almost. Like a okay. grid. That's what I'm trying to say. Like that? Yep, like that. Wherever you think people might like to live. Right there. Hold it like that. You can see it. Nice. All right. Cool. Hold it. Now you're going to get your red and think about where um, a mine might go, where we might find copper or silver or gold, and put a little star. 
maybe kind of like in a cave. Or in there, yeah. Everybody's very interested in what's going to happen in there. So let's now. take a minute and remember, what's our definition of a watershed? Um, it's, it's like the top of the mountain is where it starts. The top of the mountain is where it starts, is the edge. Great, Elsie. So it's a land area that drains to a low point. So if you trace your finger on the tops of your mountains, do you have more than one watershed here, do you think? Mm -hmm. More yes. than one so direction where the um, water might flow? So much watersheds? Yeah. yeah. This one. Oh yeah, so there's one over here that's going to flow down into there. And this one over here. Alright, let's make some predictions. Which way is the water going to flow on yours? Down. Down there? Do you have I think any... it might go down this. this alley right here. Okay. Do you have any places where water might get captured and held instead of flowing off? Like right here? Oh, uh, maybe like right here. There's not a lot. It's not a lot, and it gets pushed off. Yeah. Um, maybe here. Maybe there. Right, Ellie. Twitter. What about I you? I think water might get captured like here and here. Okay. All right. Are we ready to make it rain? All right. Do we want to each spray our own? You go first. And we'll let. Oh, I go first. Okay. So when you spray, you just want to watch what happens. Ooh, my farm's getting flooded. <laughs> I'm the city is too. Oh, the city is too, you're right. It's got quite a bit of water. And that one is too. I tried really hard to put my farms where they would get lots of water, <laughs> but they're getting too much. Down to All right, <gasps> Elsie? <laughs> waterfall. Yay, the foam's getting off this water. Alright. I think that's good. Alright. <laughs> Laughing totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. I was like, the water is getting held right now. Yeah, it's getting held in that lake. I'm kind of sinking. A little lake down there. What are the parts of your watershed? Um, like, um, what's it? Like, like the land area? The land area, right? What's all the white area on your watershed? Just mountain. Just mountain? What could be on there? Besides farms or cities or mines? Um, trees. Trees? Any people? People? Yeah. Houses. Right, so lots of things could be on the land area. It's a great way to think about it. Mountain Did goats. anybody's cities flood? Um, I think my this, city flooded a little bit. This foam flooded. Some of mine are super dry. This one? A bunch of mine you can barely see. This one got flooded. There might have been one over. <laughs> that got washed we away, have even? Cities. I only have like two cities. You only have two cities, and they look like they pretty well. Flooded. Oh yeah. So if your city flooded, could any pollution from the streets like oil and stuff, do you think it could get into your watershed? Yes. Where yes. else could it go? Where might it get? The lakes. The lakes? The and the farms. And the farms, right? And what about your farms? Did anybody's farm flood? Mine definitely yes. flooded. Yes. Um, one, like, two. Like it just disappeared. Two, mine. Okay, so the farms could flood. And what if you had like lots of fertilizer or pesticides on your farms? Where would that water end up? In the ground. In the yeah. Like what people eat. Right. Get sick. That's true. Okay, so what's a watershed again? Okay. One, two, three. A land area that drains to a low point. All right. So, do you live in a watershed? Um, yes. Yeah. 
Yes, why? Why do we live in a watershed? How do you know? Um, do you live on land? Yes. Yes, right? <laughs> All right, here's the next, another tricky question. What is a watershed a part of? Like, maybe like a mountain? It could be a part of a mountain. It could be a part of another watershed. Does anyone have a small watershed? I do, um, that's part of a bigger watershed. I have just a tiny watershed. Oh yeah, that tiny one there. Um, but then you have this thing that's part of this bigger range. All right, so what do you think we talk about if we're talking about watershed management? What are we talking about? Like so how to make it with our water that comes from our watershed, and how to make it so that uh, cities don't get flooded and the water goes into and destroys farms and things. Great answer.